G'day guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How we doing? Hope you guys are well. So this is another video in our little mini series of how to clear all islands in Mutiny Pirate Survival 2023. We are up to Pirates Camp 3. So I'm super excited to do this one today with you guys because what this means for me personally is I get to use all of my good stuff, all of my general good stuff that I would typically use for a lot of um harder levels and things of that nature and you know generally speaking if i've got an abundance of um resources and things like that and i've put them forward to you know uh craft for tier four stuff and i'm in a tier two or tier three zone i'm still going to use it but it doesn't excuse the fact that you can use lower tier um uh you know items weapons and things like that in higher tier um, areas which I've demonstrated uh, numerous times on this channel but um, I wanted to do everything in a period correctness or an island correctness um, or stage uh, of where you would be in the game when you hit these islands so we've just done and completed the iron and the um, uh, I believe it's the the hoof oh sorry the horn island I keep forgetting the name of this island anyway so I've done that which basically unlocks the ability for you to craft up a lot of tier 4 good stuff so we're going to be able to now utilize all of our tier 4 goodness and we can continue um, on with this little um, you know little quest basically that I've sort of put myself forward to so we're gonna go ahead and do this um, so standard practice as usual we're obviously just gonna try and get through here uh, unscathed and try and manipulate the system where we'll try and use um, I guess at least one uh, V1s and if we can try and get um, these fellas taken out with minimal damage then we're, we're going to be just fine in getting through now what I didn't read is we got to blow up uh, so kill the assistants blow up the ship's cannons and defeat Garen the leader of the gang so I didn't know which way it was going to be as well so I did bring a couple of um, uh, what do you call it, uh, torches with me, but I also do have uh, a number of um, uh, kegs, so we're going to have to take off, uh, take up four, I believe, we're going to blow up four of these things, so um, so we're going to be able to do that today, hopefully, and we'll be able to um, take out all of the fellows here, we've got some bounty hunters, we've got the assistant, oh jeez, there's the assistant, there's another assistant, let's take, oh Jesus, and this is what you don't want to happen, right, you're going to get swamped, and don't feel bad for getting yourself out of harm's way by leaving and exiting the um, the island itself because you're obviously just going to reset everything. They are all coming back after you, which is not a good thing, but that's good because we've just gotten... Um, we've just taken out four assistants in that little melee, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's um, take out this Corsair. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the, the full whack of him in one hit, but that's okay. All right, Mr. Bounty Hunter. And a lot of good things with these fellows is if they start with guns and get them down to close to, to the end of their um, HP, then you will be able to so, sort of take these fellows out because they'll switch to a melee type uh, weapon and that'll enable you to um, you know finish them off um, in a quicker fashion. So um, yeah, if, if you've got that option there, if it does happen, then you'll be able to uh, take them out and you can do one of those as well and you can just crouch and hide behind the wall so if you get that ability or if you get that option 100% um, take it guys because it's only just going to benefit you guys at the end of the day uh, let's just get over here I am just going to use another heal come on my dude there we go and let's just, let's just go over here oh he did see me he unfortunately did see me but that's okay beautiful we'll take those and let's just take out this fella here oh Okay, and let's take him out one more time. All right, beautiful. Now, yeah, so you have to use a little bomb, or a little bomb, a little powder keg, sorry. God, okay. termination, well, you know, um, the wording, my wording is obviously off, but that's okay. Now these guys are coming around, they're gonna come and get me. Um, I've got nowhere else to go, basically, so we gotta beat these guys head on, basically. Here they come. All right, Mr. Bounty Hunter. Yep. As you've seen there, he did come at me with a, a melee style weapon after I got him two hits. So as you can see, he's going to try and hit me. But 
because they obviously changed, there's that stutter moment. So you still get that um, that option to take them out, even if you've um, if even if you're trying to reload and if you don't have a quick reloading uh, weapon. So yeah, at least that way you can um, you can dodge, and you should only sort of be I guess affected once more or less. Okay. So we are opening up this. Let's just take all of those because I'm happy to take all of those. I've got so much coral. It's not funny, so I'm not going to um, indulge myself with that. But unfortunately with this, you are going to need to take out all the... Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did you guys come from? What the hell was that? I just got flanked big time. There you go. And boom. All right. Let's just take that. Where's the other fellow? There was someone else over here. What are you doing? Oh, you guys got stuck behind the, um, behind my, um, uh, what do you call it? My, my little animal friend. That is hilarious. Oh, God. Sucked in, guys. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> that is super funny. That is super funny. All right, let's just help our little mate over here. Oh, jeez. I, I realized, I just realized... I nearly copped it big time. There we go. And unfortunately, you're just stuck on him, so I can't really take this fella out. Thank you very much. Oh, he took out my little, um... Oh, he took out my tamed animal. It's not nice, is it? Definitely not. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, so with this, you're going to have to take these fellas out because... You got no way to sort of progress. So, in the other um, pirate, uh, sorry, pirates camp, you had the option to sort of manipulate yourself around, and you didn't really have to engage with everybody. Um, so the fact with these ones, you have to actually do it because you got no choice in the matter. But I think I'm, we're close to about halfway, aren't we? Thereabouts. Yeah, but there, thereabouts. All right. Mr. Snitch. Yeah, so not doing too badly. I've still got just a bit over over half my um my pistol durability, which is a nice thing. Nice thing to have. Let's just come up behind you. Let's just run, shoot, and get a little bit of distance and goodbye. Alright. So yeah, I think we're getting we're getting closer. Someone just tried to attack me. I thought so. I thought so. Take that with us. All right, let's see what's in here. Um, okay, so let's just take that. And I'll leave that alone. How am I doing for durability? Actually, yeah, so we're halfway there. Okay, so right, 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 right. So you still got the option, right? You still got the option if you want to take out the whole island or if you just want to sort of um, take out bits and pieces so I've still got that ability here so we are three out of four of the ship's cannons so naturally oh Jesus these guys just came out of nowhere you know what time to switch out to these there we go got the quest updated which is beautiful actually that was probably the best thing I could have done <laughs> to be honest with you guys Let's probably do that again. Let's do that again. Oh no! I wanted to. I wanted to do two for one deal, not one for one. Okay, let's just quickly heal. And thank you very much. Take that. And let's see what's in this little chest. All right, we'll we'll take that. Okay, so now I've got the option to take out whichever cannon I want. So we should just take out this first one here. There we go. I think I could have taken out this one here, but I think it would have required a little bit more in the um, in the powder keg department, which I really don't want to do um, right now anyway. So I prefer I prefer it. Sorry, if we um, just stay on the strategic side of things and just take out these fellas as we sort of go along without with minimal fuss, right? Because that's the aim of the game. Okay, so let's just get all of this as well. Why the hell not? So if I really wanted to, I could. But we'll um we'll move along here. Actually, you know what? 
because I still don't know this fact. I've always done it, so I may as well just do it. Let's just take out everyone and just show you that you can still do it. And there's, um, and you can still do it with minimal um, disruption to yourself and, um, you know, resource, from a resource point of view, you can still get by with minimal resources so far. I mean, I've only used about six heals so far. Still on my first set of clothing and I've still got my first weapon, so still doing good. We are getting towards the end of the first set of clothing anyway, so it is deteriorating, unfortunately, um, but we are getting there. We are getting there. I'll leave those there. Um, how are we? There we go. That's a bit of a pulse check for you guys. Oh, Jesus. Okay, again. Just got swarmed. <laughs> you gotta love it. Gotta love it. Actually got out of that pretty good too. So it pays to have one of these um, one of these blunderbusses as well. Okay, so if you guys want to succeed, definitely use the blunderbuss. Definitely use one of those fellows because it's going to save your bacon. All right, Mr. Corsair. Here we go. Actually, what did you drop? Uh, I got so much rope. That's why I'm not even focusing on getting any rope, to be honest with you guys. All right, um, let's just take out this little bounty hunter over here. Let's take out this little bounty hunter over here. Go. So my, my clothing should pretty much break any time, to be honest. <laughs> any time. So, and to top it all off, we are actually getting towards the end of this place as well, which is fantastic. All right, so we just got this these three here. Okay, let's just continue on and just do a bit of turn and burn. There we go. Just a bounty hunter. And you can actually prevent them from shooting from a second time, which is great because once you sort of get the leg up on them, you can continue running and you'll be able to get yourself um, out of there unscathed, which is a great thing to do. And this fella here... He, he's good as gone because his AOE is way too slow and it just enables me to do what I do as you can see um, yeah let's take all of that let's leave that behind because we don't worry about that and let's head back because I did purposely miss some of these guys here but for the sake of showing you and demonstrating every, to everyone that you can do this it is absolutely possible um, and this is all obviously on the basis that you guys have completed the other islands as of as I've sort of gone through my playlist as well. So if you guys have done that, then there shouldn't be any issue in you guys um, tackling, you know, these pirate camps as well. The other thing with these things is you've got to wait seven days after the fact as well, once you've completed it. Or you've got or you can look at it this way, you've got seven days to clear it. If that's what if if that's how you're thinking. So there's there's always that. Um, but yeah, you just take it the way you guys need to take it. Um, but you know what? I'm here now. I may as well get it done while we're here. I'll tame this fella. And he's going to serve as a bit of a distraction for me as well, which is going to be good. Um, with that, it's probably a good idea now just for me to um, head back real quick to the uh, to my ship. Get the rest of the powder kegs because I'm going to need them all. And I've got to be strategic in terms of where um, uh, Garen is going to be. So where the hell am I going? Okay. I was just there, wasn't I? Why can't I? Okay. Now I can. Oops. I don't want to stop tracking. I want to... No, 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 no. Thank you. So if I really wanted to, I can get rid of all of this. There we go. And if I want, I'll take the clothing with me. Not too sure if I'm going to need it. But I think I might want to switch over to that because it's going to offer a little bit more firepower as well. But what you did see as well and what I didn't um, end up taking along is in some of these chests. Now, I can't remember which ones, but um, you do get broken clothing. So if you want to repurpose those and use those as you go along um, in these type of environments, yeah, for sure, use them. Because uh, it's only going to help you guys as you go along. All right, now, these take maybe two per, I think. There we go, you took forever. 
and I'm guessing this is where the big fella is. So I prefer to try and break open the walls that have um, the windows because they are the weaker ones out of all of them. There you go. How's that? That is Garen the Oak. Okay, Mr. Garen the Oak. Yeah, he's got a bit of HP on him. As you can see, look at look at that. It's 5,400. Big boy. There you go, he's taking out my, uh, my pet. Now, it's just a process of just running, shooting, running and shooting. And you're obviously gonna, you're gonna take him down. He's not that fast, so you're not gonna have to worry about it. I could actually go around in a little merry-go-round if I, if I so choose to do so. But if I stop, which I shouldn't be, oh Jesus, or if I knew where I was going, um, I shouldn't get tagged, but I just did then, so it is what it is. So you just got to be careful for that as well, because that can happen. So just be careful. And here's that, and we are close to about a thousand HP of him, of him bowing out. Oops. It's taking ages to reload. Okay. Okay. Okay, so two more shots and that's it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And you do get some of those little map fragments too that you can use when you um, spin the wheel. <coughs> so that's, that's that, I guess. Alright, so we did get a few things which I'm going to take, a couple of things I'm going to leave because I really don't need them. Um, so I'll leave, I'll leave those there. Now, you're not going to find anything in here unfortunately, so there are a couple of enemies in there. Do you really need to go after them? That's up to you. You can go to the door here, but I don't think they're going to pop themselves out. So, they used to do that. I don't know why that's been changed, but they do used to... They did did used to come out and um, try to attack you so yeah I don't know why they don't do that anymore but anyway that's I consider this cleared done dusted now I guess the last thing that you guys would probably want to do is you probably want to um, harvest all the resources out of here so all the wood all the stone the basalt sorry um, all the berries and things like that if you want to grab those on your way out I suggest that you guys do so we're going to go ahead and complete this. We've got 40 sail cloth, we've got 15 common tubes, one uncommon, and then we've got ourselves a nice little rifle or well, musket. So that's all done. That is all done. So I do have um, some bits and bobs here, so I can um, actually, you know what, I don't need the clothing anymore. So I'm going to put that back, put that back, because we don't need that. And um, I'll put that away. And look at that, we've got a full stack of jasmine, which is nice. We've got a few of a burner, which is which is not too bad either. And look at that, we've, we've done well there. So I could just hit auto on this and I'll, I'll let my guy, you know, do his thing. But um, let me know what you guys think about this one here in the comment section down below. Do you feel like this was pretty easy to get through? Do you think it was a little bit hairy? Do you think some of the, um, the suggestions and tips that I used throughout the video was helpful for you guys? Let me know in the comments because it's not going to help me um, understand, but it's more for you guys who are newer, um, who are, haven't actually... Uh, cleared this before see this as a guide and um, an option or a way for you to clear this island um, at ease so you guys don't have to um, you know put too much too much resource into it and effort into it so it is quite simple to get by um, I found it quite easy um, you do get swamped but um, my best suggestion is make sure you've got a blunderbuss with you because you are going to be able to take those swarms of enemies out in one foul swoop if as long as you get them in a little cluster you're good to go um, but yeah, aside from that, um, let me know what you thought, um, any tips or tricks or anything that of your own, let me know in the comments for you, from you vet veteran pirates. Um, but with all that said and done, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one.